All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get this thing rock and rolling. So for today's workout, we're gonna have a little bit of a push-pull combo. So yes, it's gonna be predominantly upper body. Okay, so a little bit of chest, a little bit of back, for the majority of it. I kind of hit some core stuff in there too, so it should be a proper workout. If you got some toys, grab them. If you got dumbbells, kettlebells, whatever it is you're using these days for weight, this is gonna have uh, some, uh, some equipment required, some tools required. If you guys do need something, uh, just jump onto the chat or something like that if you need an alternative, and uh, hope I can throw some body weight alternatives in as we go. As you guys know, don't be shy. If ever you're in a gym and uh, I call for equipment for an exercise and you don't have it, that's okay. Just default, go to something, you know, throw a bodyweight squat in, uh, go into a plank hold, you know, hit some uh, some stationary lunge work, any of that sort of stuff, any crunches that you want to do as additional work. Okay, team, so should be a little bit fun. So what's going to happen is if you've got uh, a set of dumbbells here, we're going to go to something a little bit lighter. Okay, so I've got a set of 12s here and I've got a set of tw uh, 20s here. So I'm going to go to my 12s. We're going to start off some wrist circles. Okay, so we're just warming our forearms up. Okay, so just nice and comfortable here. Back and forth we go without plunking yourself in the thigh. Good, as soon as we're done that, we're gonna go into pendulum. So knees bent butt out. We're just gonna traction our shoulders out. This is one of everybody's, uh, every therapist's favorite exercises, right? So we're maintaining our posture, we're keeping our shoulder blades back as we do it. About 10 uh, per direction here. All right, starting to warm this bad boy up. As soon as we're done that, we're gonna come up, elbows in tight into our external rotations. Okay, so my elbows are staying pinned in at 90 degree angle. We're rotating out and back in. Okay, same thing, we're going for our 10 reps here. Good guys. Just feel comfortable stretching up, feel pain, make sure your elbows aren't coming off the body. As we're done that, we're gonna go into a push-up position. Okay, so we're gonna go alternating push-up position. So I'm gonna hit my push-up, come in, then out to the opposite side, in and out to the opposite side. We're gonna go five on each side, so we're going 10 push-ups total here, okay team? So let's see what we can do. So as soon as you're ready, hit that push-up position, nice wide stance. So we're gonna hit it, hand comes in, out to the opposite side. Hit my push up, hand comes in, out to the opposite side. That's one, let's get it rocking and rolling. If you have to, don't be shy. Go modify, drop the knees down, make sure you have a nice flat body as you do this. Like I said here guys, just get warm. There's four for me, All right? Open it out, nice wide push up. And as soon as you're done, let's come on back up. We're gonna grab back on our dumbbells. When we go again, start in our wrist circles. This is super old school warm up, circa when I first started working out, my very first trainer and then into our pendulums. He taught me that guy and he's 100% right so often we spend so much time warming up our hips, our low back, getting them back the other way guys. We often forget about our wrists, our forearms. Okay, keep traction it out. When you're ready, come on up into our external rotation. So same thing, elbows pinned in tight to the body. If you want to upturn your palm at the very end, just slightly you can. It'll get you a little bit more range. Not very high though, just a tiny little upturn. Again, comfortable stretches, we're doing this. Should be starting to get a little bit of a burn going here. Let's set a look for our 10 reps. As soon as we're done, we're gonna drop our dumbbells down. Back into that push-up position. Five again on each side, team, when you're ready. Let's hit it. All right, hit that push-up. Walk it across, push-up. Make sure the shoulders are staying back. Very easy, let those shoulders come forwards. We wanna keep them pinned back. Tiny little exhales, we come up and across. Good job, guys. Make sure you're five per side here. Good, once we're done, we're coming back up. Third and final time through. Give it a second, let everybody catch up if you're not there. Good job, guys. Okay, and as soon as you're ready, back in those wrist circles. Good. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this weather, starting to warm up, starting to see grass again, it's perfect. Hopefully you aren't going too stir crazy. Okay, and into those pendulums. I'm as drunk. Good job, guys. Just keep tracking those shoulders out. Good, back to the way when you're ready. Great job, guys. Okay, let's come on up. Body's nice and high. And those extra rotations. Halfway for me. Nicely done, as soon as we get those 10. Let's drop them down for the last time. Push up position, five per side, let's go. Hit it, walk it across. Hit it, walk it across. Good job, guys. Good start today. Where is my... Great job, team. Really nice. Okay, catch your breath. Let me crack the window here. 
Getting toasty already. Okay guys, so this is what we're gonna do here. So I've broken up this, uh, this first block. We're going to IYTs. Okay, so for our IYTs, again, if you got something that's a little bit lighter, that's probably what we want to use. Even a soup can's gonna work for this. So we're gonna go into that bent position. So number one, our bent position, knees bent, bum back. So we're in that nice flat back position. We're not just rounding and breaking, right? Shoulders pull back, knees bent, bum out. So we're making the letter I, making the letter Y, and making the letter T. So I always say you lead from your thumbs. So I'm gonna make my letter I, I'm gonna make my letter Y, up and up to 45, and then to my letter T. If you guys notice, my palms facing forward is now. So pretend I'm hitchhiking, my, my thumb's always leading the way. Okay, so now, of course, I'm gonna add weight to this. So, knees bent, bum out, that nice narrow stance. So I'm pushing my range, letter I, up and out, into my letter Y to a 45, then palms forwards, out into that letter T. Okay, team? We're gonna go five times through on this first set. Let's go. I, up and out, Y, way out, T. Good. I, up and out into your Y, and out into your T. Good job, guys. Nice straight arms, just try to open those shoulders up. Let's chase a burn. Two times through to go. Exhales are coming up. Good, and last time through. I, up and into our Y, and into our T. Nicely done. Good, so as soon as we're done that, guys, we're gonna go into a push-up position. Again, holding that nice wide stance. Alternating shoulder taps, okay? Five per hand, don't let those hips dance. We wanna keep it really nice and square. Our shoulders and our hips nice and square. Push up position, so squeeze glutes, squeeze quads, squeeze abs. Hand goes to the shoulder, right back down. Up, hold, and back down. Up, hold, back down. That's our pace. Tiny exhale. Like I said, hips are staying square. Five per side. As soon as we're done, we're gonna pop back up. Grab our dumbbells, same thing through again. Five reps. All right, let's go. I, Y, T, let's rock and roll. Exhale coming up, the usual drill. You guys know what to do. Make sure that lower back's not starting to break down. If you have to, come up, take a rest. Nothing wrong with that, you go at your own pace here. Great job, guys. And last time through for me. I, and T. Good. Couple breaths. Everybody finish up there. As soon as you're ready, in that push up position, alternating shoulder taps. Let's do it. Keep those hips, keep those shoulders square. Nothing moves. The longer you hold, the harder it's going to be. Good job, guys. Beauty. Nice. Two down, we got one to go. Send in, catch your breath, a little sip if you need it. On that last round. Looking good here, team. Looking very, very good. All right. Grab our dumbbells. Same thing. Knees bent, bum up. Let's hit it. I, Y, T. Last five through. Great job, guys. Very nice. Proper bite. That's good. We finish it off here. A couple more seconds. And let's hit that push up position. Shoulder top it out. Let's go. Breathe through it, tiny hole. Beautiful. Good job, guys. Good job. It's actually getting serious in there. Nice warm up blocks. All right, so what's gonna happen here, guys? Our first block, we're gonna do what we call a ladder. Okay, so our ladder is basically, we're gonna increase our reps every round through. Okay, so I'm gonna call out how I'm doing it, but you go at your own pace. Rest as you have to, sips of water as you have to, make modifications should you need to. So what's gonna happen is our three exercises. Our first exercise, we're gonna go into a floor press. So floor chest press. Okay, so we're kicking up, we're falling back, elbows are touching the ground, our press is straight up. If your weight's not heavy enough, you can also go into a fly, and that'll make it just a little bit tougher. 
Okay guys, so we got our, our flat uh, press or our fly. As soon as we're done, we're gonna hop one up in that bent position. We're going bent down row. Okay, now every set I'm gonna flip my grip. I'm gonna supinate one so my palms are forwards. Next time I go, I'm gonna go into a neutral grip just to try to keep a little bit of variation. Okay, our last and final exercise. If you've got a towel, a shirt, whatever you got, we're gonna grab it, okay? And we're gonna go into that kind of ab wheel sort of uh, style. So I'm gonna go push up position and basically I'm elongating my body. So I'm gonna work off my knees. I'm gonna stretch it right out. So we'll be able to come with me here. All right, so I'm going to that, uh, that push up position here. On my knees, if you have to, you need a towel, use a towel for your knees. I can slide out, big stretch, suck it back in. When I do this, I'm not, I'm not pulling back from my bum. I'm trying to pull back from my hands. So nice flat body out. I'm gonna draw back from that towel. Okay guys, so what's gonna happen? We're going in increments of five. It's gonna be a burner. So what I mean by that, set number one, five chest press or flies, right? Five rows, five hard towel ab wheel. Then next round, 10, 15, 20, 25. And we're gonna keep rocking and rolling. Okay team, so our goal for this, I'm gonna set us a nice little uh, um, 10 minutes on the clock here. And we're gonna work through it as many as we can. Like I said, take sips of water, stay moving as best you can, don't let your form slip. All right team, so start to get ourselves ready. So get your dumbbells set. If you got some a little bit heavier, it's probably where you're gonna wanna, uh, you're gonna wanna use it here. All right, we're going in three, two, one, and let's hit it. So fly your back, kick them up, fall back. Let's do it. Exhale as you come up, squeeze your chest. Make sure your shoulders stay pinned into the ground. Try to maintain a little bit of a back arch. You wanna keep those shoulders pulled into the ground. After those five reps, we're gonna pop on up. All the way to the top, set shoulders. Knees bent, bum out. Good squeeze in those rows. Exhale as we come up, we're driving our shoulder blades back. You're not just pulling from your arm. Set your shoulder blade back and top. And there's five. Okay, in that towel. Towel slide, let's do it. Slide it out and suck it back in. Should be filled through your abs and through the outside of your back. Be a little bit through your chest. Good job, guys. Exhale coming back in. Good. Once you got those five, get yourself set back up. And we're going to have that press or that fly. I'll show you this side here. This time I'm going to fly. Nice wide elbows, good stretch going down. Up, squeeze chest and the top. Don't forget, this is our second round, it's our 10 round. Good job, guys. I always say squeeze boobs at the top. Squeeze that chest. Good job, team. Lifted. As soon as you've got those 10, we're popping up, right back into our rows. Like I said, this time I'm gonna flip some underhand grip. So same setup, shoulders back, knees bent, bum up. Big pull, big squeeze from my upper back. <sighs> Exhale as I come up. Good team, good. And squeeze. Once you've got those 10, you know what to do. We're taking it down to that towel. This one's gonna start to get tough. That first round should've been easy. Break it up as you have to. If your weight's too heavy, take some rest. Break it up. Good job, guys. Upper back's tight. Chest should be rock solid here. Nice. As soon as you're on those 10, we're on our 15 round. Good job, guys. Good job. Like I said, don't be shy. We can change it up. We go our press, we go our fly. If your weight's light, stick with your fly. That third round, we're going 15 reps. Make it tough, make it burn. Even if the weight's light, up and squeeze. Just over halfway for me on this third round, if you're, kind of, if you're sticking with me. Good job, guys. Since you're on those 15, up we go, into those rows. All right, set shoulders, knees bent, bum up, fire it off. Good job, guys.
Take sips. Do what you got to do. Nicely done. Awesome work, team. Awesome work. We're sitting just over halfway. Adjust your distance on those ab wheel slides, the towel. Adjust how far you go out. If it's too hard, just go a little smaller. I'm sitting just over halfway on those. Should be burning now, guys. You got it. That's 14 for me. Good job, guys. We're almost at six minutes here. We're moving fast. We're moving real well. Susan Ray. In those flies, or press. Good job, guys. Breathing through it. Round number four, you know we're on 20. Make it tough, make it tough. If it's real light, I'm turning my pinkies in at the top, make it a little tough, really squeeze the center of my chest. And there's my 20th. Stay after it, guys, stay after it. Wherever you're at in the workout, keep moving. Exhale hard, breathe through it, rest as you have to. Take a sip, then right back after it. You have two big blocks today, plus a finisher. This is block number one. Come on, guys. If you're on my count, this is 13 for my rows. Nicely done. Nicely done. Stay after it, guys. Stay after it, guys. We're at 7.30. 7.30. Try to finish this round off. Get what you can. Don't just stop. Go for it. Right to the end. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. This is number 10 for me. You're with me. Rush. Should be burning by now. Should be on fire. Come on, guys. We got Easter weekend this weekend. If you're cooking, baking, a couple extra glasses of wine. Let's go. Almost there, guys. That's 8.30. Stay after it. We're going right to the end. Great job, guys. Great job, guys. Don't forget round number five with 25 reps here. Almost there, we're almost there. We're gonna push right to the end. Time to go. That's 20. Good job, guys, good job, guys. Almost there, 923. Fire them off, get what you can. Right there, right there. Finish off the exercise you're in. Finish it off. It 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and time. Guys, good first block. Great job. Grab some water, catch your breath. Very good first one. As we're catching our breath, I'll start explaining the next round. For those of you guys who are on Instagram, Facebook later, any of our YouTube, any of our live streams, any of that stuff, guys, keep throwing shout outs, keep giving comments. I love hearing the feedback. Those of you guys who want to try something different or looking for some different variety, maybe there's some equipment you have that would be a cool theme for a different workout, make sure you throw it at us, right? Tomorrow, I'm going to be going body weight themed. So it's going to be a full body weight kind of core. Uh, theme, if you got weight, of course, you can always add it in. Thursday, we're back. Meredith Scott, her hip workout in Zumba. Friday, I'll be back at the helm Saturday. So, man, we're making this work. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying it back at, at home. All right. So, next up, we're still working inside that ladder format. We're going to see it all day. Okay, team? So, our first exercise we're going to hit is a renegade row. So, what's going to happen, okay? We're going to go into a push-up position. Now, this is a very challenging exercise. I see it done wrong a lot. How I'm going to do it today. So, I like to put my dumbbells on a 45-degree angle inwards. I like to do my push-ups from there. That's a more natural row. Okay, now, if this is too hard on your palms, leave your dumbbells on the ground. Hit your push-up. Grab it, pull. Grab it, pull. Nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Don't go and kill your hands just for the sake of doing the exercise. Okay, team? So, a renegade row for our five reps. We're going five push-ups, row, row. Okay, so nice wide stance. So my hips are, are, dan are dancing around. I'm gonna hit that push-up. So it's a little bit narrow push-up. Pull my row, pull my row. That's one rep. Okay, so I'll show you guys inside so you can see it. Right, wide stance. Hit that push-up, hit my row, hit my row. And that whole time, up, squeeze. Make sure those hips aren't playing. They're not dancing. Get that internal weak to fire, okay? So we got five renegade rows. As soon as we're done our renegade row, oh man. A little towel push-up after I put this in. So what's gonna happen, guys? So, with your towel, we're gonna go into our push-up position. You're sliding out almost like a fly and pulling it back in. If you have to, same as with our push-up in the renegade row. Drop the knees down, go modify. There's nothing wrong with that. Make sure it's doable for you. If you don't have a towel, just reach your hand out and pull back in. So what I'm looking for, so I have my wide stance again. I'm gonna slide out. I'm gonna suck it back in. Slide out. Suck it back in. So, once I've got my five, throw it across, five on the opposite side. If you really want something crazy, let's get that upper pec to fire, the upper chest to fire. And what's gonna happen with this, guys? We're actually gonna elevate the feet up. Okay, so we're gonna bring our feet up. We're gonna step, couch, bench, and that's how we're gonna hit it. Nice flat body, right? Slide out, suck back in. Slide out, suck back in. Once you get our five, then across the other side for five, okay? The last part, our third exercise, we're gonna go into our plank position, okay? And we're gonna hit some plank dips, okay? So planking it out, we're rocking our hips. So forearms down, all my usual quick cues. So squeeze glutes, squeeze quads, squeeze abs, and we're rocking, side to side. One, one, two, and two. Now, naturally, your feet are gonna slide a little bit. Don't worry, just keep walking and keep adjusting. This will be a crazy chest and shoulder burner, guys. This will be proper, very, very, very nice block. Okay, so same strategy. We got 10 minutes on the clock. Five, 10. 15, 20, 20, let's get what we can. All right, team? So, when you guys are ready, let's start to get ourselves set, let's start to get ourselves ready. It's just really dark. Hopefully you guys can see me at home. Try to angle this a little bit better for you here, team. All right. So, when you guys are ready, we're gonna hit that push-up position. We're gonna start off that renegade row. You guys ready? Ah, oh, what the heck, we're here anyways. Going in three, two, one, let's hit it. Push-up position, hit that push-up. Row, squeeze, row, squeeze. That's one. Stay after now. Take your time with it. Good crisp reps. That's four for me. Push up, row, and row. Like I said, drop knees, make the modifications you have. Then once you're ready, you're going to that slider push up. Slide it out, suck it back in. Oh, this is me tough block. Good guys, good guys. As soon as you're ready, forearms down, plank it out, plank tips. Let's rock.
five and five. If you guys gotta cut the push out, push up out on the renegade row, don't be shy. Do what you can. Like I said, this is a real hard block. You got it guys, you got it. Like I said, if you have to, cut the push-ups out of that renegade rope. We're gonna get them right here on this uh, on this uh, towel fly. Oh my god. I break this up. You guys got it, you guys got it. You guys are ready, stay moving. Oh my god. Good job guys, good job guys. Like I said sips as you need them. I gotta cut my push-ups out in the renegade row. Oh, come on, guys. A little bit of recovery in these plank dips. We're just over three minutes in, but don't be freaked out. We got it. Oh, good job, guys. Rest you have to. You can do this. Come on, team. Come on, team. I promise I don't eat you guys. Break them up into fives, do what you gotta do to get these done. Come on, team. It's gonna be over before you even know it. You got it, guys. You got it. Just over that halfway mark. Once you get over this halfway mark, count it down. Psychologically, you're just gonna speed up. You're gonna find that second energy, about energy. Let's go. You got it, guys. You got it. Like I said, recovers you have to. Make them good crisp reps. I promise you this is our last bit of push-up work for the day. I promise you. Good job. Six minutes. We 
Give me any time for one more round. I'm in my 15 plank dips. Breathe through it, stay moving. Oh, you got it, guys. You got it. 630. Since you have to, this is our last big block today. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Keep chipping away. Guys, we're on this. Let's go. Let's go. Just got to get through it. Just got to get through it. We're at 7.30. Two minutes. Less than two minutes, guys. All right. Break them up, break them up, get them done, though. Yeah, men five seconds left. We got men five seconds left to finish this off, guys. So let's go. Come on. Good job. In my mind, that was way easier than it actually was. Really nice. Super good job, guys. Grab water. We got a couple minutes here to catch our breath. One last little core block, stretch, boom, out of here. My glad I'm swimming pretty hard right now. This is crazy. Guys, really good. Really good. So we're gonna catch our breath. So one of my, one of my favorite, right? I do like, it. it's a little bit of fun. So what we're gonna do guys, we're gonna go, we're gonna do the alphabet, okay? So we're gonna go into a sitting tuck position. 
So what I mean by that is we're balancing our butt, okay? So those of you guys who've done core stuff with me before, maybe you've seen this, I've used it as a burn note a couple times. Okay, so now you're gonna hit your quads, you're gonna hit your hip flexors. If it's too much pressure in your lower back or in any of those, back it off, okay? So now our easiest progression, hands are going in behind the bum, feet come up, we make the alphabet, okay? So now my knees are pretty bent. It's still gonna work, but it's not as crazy. If you can, go legs nice and straight, okay? So legs nice and straight, and that's how we're gonna make our alphabet, okay? Coin flip, we're going upper, for an upper case. So A right to Z, rest as you have to, make good quality reps. The bigger you go, the harder it is. Okay, if you keep really tiny, you'll fly through it, so have the same uh, level of burn. Okay, guys? So when you're ready, let's get ourselves set. We're going right A to Z, A to Z. All right, three, two, one, and let's do it. Try to keep your legs as straight as you can. You don't remember your alpha, that's a bad thing too. That's what I'm struggling right now, holy jeez. Rest as you have to. Don't cook your hip flexors. It's M for me. Some of you guys are going broken. It's amazing, that's not me. Ooh. Baby, a little recovery once you're done. Going to Cobra. Push up, look to the ceiling. A little active recovery for us. Catch our breath. Couple seconds. Almost there, guys. Almost there. As everybody's finishing up, if you're not done yet, don't worry, take your time, get them done right. Sure, some of you guys flew through that. It's awesome. Should be burning by now. Okay, our last one. So our last one of the day, no hidden surprises. Can't do it once, right? So we did our uppercase, now you do our lowercase. Okay, so still A to Z, lowercase letters. This is it, and we're stretching, I promise. Okay, guys, it's been a proper day, you guys have crushed it. So once everybody's caught their breath, We'll start to get ourselves organized. One more, one more. Let's go, team. You guys good? Going in three, two, one. Let's hit it. All lowercase letters. I'm actually not sure what's harder. Good job, guys. Oh. Same thing, guys, once you're done. Cover it up. I think lowercase is a little bit easier. This one has to be entire from the first round. I'm glad we did it that way. Once you've done cobra, stretch your abs. We're gonna throw a leg forwards. Okay, if you need a pillow or something for your back knee, don't be shy, let's stretch our back hip flex for a little bit. So just big step forwards, leaning into it, bodies up nice and high, get that back quad, back hip flexor tie in. Of course, leaning forwards into it. Guys, really good job today. That's a freaking ball buster, I'm not gonna lie. You guys all hung in there. Okay, when you're ready, we'll switch up. I'm holding these for about 20 seconds here today. Nice slow 20 second count. You guys did really well, really, really well. So make sure, don't be shy guys. You can come back to these workouts, I'm posting them. So you can come back to it later if you wanna hit it again in the future. Or if uh, you know one of those days that I'm not doing a video, you guys still wanna hop in like on a Sunday or something like that. Just look back to one of your favorites and don't be shy to throw it in. Okay, I'm gonna keep posting these suckers up. 
Okay, so now we got to stretch our pec and our lat out. So what's going to happen is we're going to go to a door frame or to a wall. I'm going to show you guys here, hopefully, so you guys can see. I'm going to go my beautiful door frame. Make sure you guys can see here too. Hopefully you guys can get me there. Beautiful. Okay, so what's going to happen? Arms at 90 degrees or rotating into it, right? So just our traditional pec stretch. Keep my arm at 90. As I rotate, I might get a little bit in front of my shoulder, but it should be mostly pec. Okay, just gentle pressure into it. Guys, really, really good job today. Now we're back off it. You're gonna bring your elbow up another inch. So just one inch higher up. So you got like a 110 degree angle where it is. And now rotate out again. It should be wider and lower in your back. Certain pack minor here. Don't be shy, guys. Later today, throw this in. Stretch your pack out, stay loose. I can help you guys might be a little bit sore tomorrow. Very good job, team. Okay, then opposite side, right? Again, find yourself some leverage. Arm at 90, rotate into it. Very good job, team. We'll back it off. Arms up another inch higher. Rotate into it again. And like I said, tomorrow should be a good one for a little body weight action. Should be nice to pull this one up. And our last one of the day, guys, we're going to stretch our lats out. So both arms up as high as you can. Don't want to drop our, our bum and our chest. So both arms up as high as I can. I'm going to drop my butt out. Now it's going to stretch all to my lat. I should be throwing all to the other side of my back. Couple more seconds. Guys, awesome job. Awesome, 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 awesome. I mean that. Hope you guys are feeling good. It was a real proper workout today. You guys really brought your A game. You pretty crushed it. So hope we will catch you guys a little later on tomorrow. Like I said, don't be shy. Leave some comments, leave some feedback. If there's something you guys want to see that I haven't done yet, or you guys have some ideas of things you'd like to see or equipment you want to use, shoot it at me, okay? Because I'm always uh, happy to hear the feedback. I love that you guys are still hitting these workouts up the, with uh, myself and the other trainers here. And I uh, hope we're getting some benefit of it. Guys, as usual, stay at home, stay safe, and stay better than yesterday. We'll talk to you guys real soon.